watching Fox Carolina, the Midday News. Welcome back to the Midday News on Fox Carolina. Get ready to hear some soulful music right here in the Upstates. R&B singer Kem is coming to the Peace Center sharing the gift of music influenced by the trials and triumphs in his life. And joining us today is R&B singer Kem. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's my pleasure. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How about you? I'm great, thank you. Excellent. Thank you, thank you for having me. Yeah, we're so, we're very excited to have you here on Midday. Uh, so first of all, can you talk to us a little bit about how you got started in music? Well, I am. Uh, I, w I was born in Nashville and uh, and raised in Detroit, uh, which are you know those are two heavily music musically uh, integrated cities. Um, and uh, I grew up with the Motown sound. I grew up with the Nashville sound, and I fell in love with uh, the piano as a toddler. And uh, it is that love affair with the piano that uh, that has captivated me all of my life. So I am. I, people call me a singer, but I'm a songwriter first. And um, uh, I've been signed to the Motown label since uh, 2003. Just celebrated 20 years being at the at the at the Motown label, and uh, very grateful to be a part of that legacy, a legacy of Stevie Wonder and the Supremes and the Temptations and Marvin. And uh, back in the Motor City, we have Anita Baker and and all of this great talent burgeoning from that city. And um, I'm great, great, grateful to be a part of that of that musical legacy. Yeah, what an incredible uh, history there you have, just from the places that you've lived. As you mentioned, yeah. just living in those uh, places really influences your music, and it feels like you were destined to be there. And, of yeah. course, you're on that list of people represented by Motown there. Uh, you credit your music inspiration from your journey, though, of homelessness and addiction. And I know you wrote a book last year yeah. uh, talking about your, your journey. Uh, how how were you able to take something and turn your life around to now have uh, this level of happiness and success now? Um, yeah, I've had a uh, uh, a very interesting life, <laughs> and I talk about it in my my memoir, uh, Share My Life, a journey of love, faith, and redemption, which was released uh, last year. And um, you know, I my my career, my songs. Uh, the foundation of everything that I do is uh, is the culmination of the experiences that I've had and the and the opportunities that I've had um, and being able to overcome the, the challenges in my life and and my my whole career my music is just a testimony, you know um, uh, you know I'm grateful for everything that has transpired in my life um, I have no regrets about being a recovering. Uh, alcoholic drug addict you know celebrating this year uh last week in fact was my anniversary i celebrated 34 years of uh continuous uninterrupted uh sobriety and i'm grateful for that uh, my fans uh are are endeared to me because of my story and i am endeared to them because i'm grateful that i've had an opportunity to get through the other side of the challenges in my life and be able to share uh be able to share my music and my gift with the world well, congratulations, Kim. What an amazing achievement there. Uh, and it, so you're actually coming mm -hmm. to Greenville. We're very excited to have you at the Peace Center here in August. Uh, for the folks who are coming to the show or or maybe haven't bought tickets yet, but after today are buying those tickets, uh, what can folks expect from your show? Um, you know, we don't get to Greenville often, and uh, we've got a, a lot of fans there who've been uh, listening and enjoying uh, our music and, and and our message of love and hope for for years and uh, so if you've got if you go all the way back to chemistry my first album and you've been rocking with me then you know that we're going to come I'm coming with the band and we're singing all the hits love calls can't stop loving you uh, find your way um, I, I perform with some of the greatest musicians in the world and uh, and on our worst day we sound just like the record. <laughs> <laughs> So we are uh, we are uh, we're looking forward to being with you guys. And if you don't have your tickets, get your tickets. I think there may be a few left. Um, you, this is a show that you don't want to miss. And uh, we're excited to be coming to Greenville. Well, I'm excited that that means on your best day, which we, I know we're going to get from yeah. you. That means we're in for a <laughs> yeah. huge uh, night of fun and just amazing entertainment. So uh, unfortunately, we have to let you go because we got, I guess, other things we got to go talk about. Otherwise, I'd keep you a little bit longer. Thank you so much for being with us. Um, and if you're interested,
interested, Ken will be at the Peace Center on August 17th. The show starts at 8 p.m. Tickets start at just $65. And we did check this morning. There are still a few available, but you better go get them now because this is a hot ticket there. For more information, you can head to our website at foxcarolina.com. Carrie.